All right, Shalom, Shalom. <coughs> it's the brothers from the GMS of Carolina came back from another video. Before we go any further, we all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Baha Hashem. Baha Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Baha Hashem. Baha Hashem. Rakar Kodash. The Bible the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone for teaching us more sent truth according to the Bible well and peace and blessings so for like of the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yah by Shema Shai. When we get to the Lord's one of the edifying lesson on the chosen nation. The chosen nation, you know, there's 18 nations down here upon the earth. And the Heavenly Father, He has a chosen nation. A nation is that He has chosen to be above, to be better. You know, which I got the definition of chosen, which is the past sense of choose. It says, having been selected as the best are most uh, appropriate. You know, so the most appropriate nation to rule the planet Earth is the, the children of Israel. That's who the Most High has chosen. I got the definition of choose, you know, which it is the it is a verb. It says, choose to pick out or select someone or something as being best or most appropriate of the two or more alternatives. So Israel, out of all the other nations, out of all the alternative, alternative options the Heavenly Father had to choose from, he seen Israel as the best and most fitting nation to rule the planet Earth. You know, and let's get that. Let's get uh, Deuteronomy. I mean, second, second Ezra, bro. Um, seven, and um, I believe you can start at verse ten. You know, let's go ahead and bring that out. You know. <clears throat> uh, verse ten and eleven. All right, second Ezra seven. Ten. Okay. It says uh. And I said, it is so. Yahweh Bashing Al Shah. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Mm hmm. You got it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Second Ezra 7 and 11. Because for their sakes I made the world. Yep. And when Adam. Yep, for their sakes, so like, bro, for their sakes, Yahweh by Shema Shai made the world. The world, he made the world for Israel's sake, for them to rule over, for them to be, you see, the, the rulers of the earth. You see, but what, but what does it say after that, bro? It says, because for their sakes I made the world, and when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was, then was decreed that now is done. That's right. Now it's done. Now, you know, we, Adam, you know, through, you know, Eve really, you know, Eve first was in this transgression, you see. And then, uh, what? You know, Adam, you know, the Adam, the, the Adamites of the time, which is the sons of God, you know, which are the children of Israel, we fell from that glory. You know, sin entered into the world. You know, we begin, that was the beginning of our fall. You know, now we're, you know, at the bottom, you know, in captivity today, you know. But uh, a change is coming because get um Exodus nineteen and five, bro, real quick. A change is coming because we have a savior that has saved us, you know, from our sins, you know, and is gonna deliver us out of the hand of our enemies and is gonna put you know, we're gonna get the victory through your hour's job by him putting in the law statute commandments in our inward parts. You see? You got it, bro. Exodus nineteen and five. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed. Yep, and when are we, my, I'm sorry, and when are we going to do that? We're going to do that in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to obey the voice of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, which is the servants of the prophets, you know, in the, in the sense of they wrote down, you know, our prophet, the prophet Moses wrote down commandments, you know, different prophets wrote down different commandments of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. The bulk of the commandments would be, you know, in the in the five book of the five books of Moses, but you know Apostle Paul, you know, uh, you know all these men, you know the the whole Bible is full of commandments that we ought to follow. You know the whole Bible is a commandment. You know, and that's when we're going to obey 
the voice of the Lord indeed in the kingdom. You know, when these laws and commandments are written into our inward parts, you know, and what, what the, you know, it tells you we will have to teach our neighbor, know the Lord for all shall know him. You see, so we're all going to obey the voice of the Lord. You got it? It says, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. That's right. Then shall ye be a, a peculiar people, a special people, you know, a, pe a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, above all the people, you know, above, you know, not just, you know, and that's talking about in rank, you know, so in, in our rank down here upon the earth is going to be above you heathen nations. That's the will of the Heavenly Father. The earth is the Heavenly Father's, but for, for our sakes, he, you know, he made it, you know, he made it not in vain. He made it to be inhabited. You know, and for the right, rightful rulers to be ruling the planet Earth so it can be ran in its rightful order. That's why he gave us the commandments to know how to run the Earth. You see? Um, <clears throat> you can get uh, Isaiah 44 and 1, and then we'll, you can start. You know, that was just a couple of through spirit. All right. So Isaiah 44 and 1, it says, Yet now here... O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. That's right. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. You know? And when did he choose us? He chose us, you know, ultimately from the foundation of the earth, right? You know? <laughs> ultimately. You know? But uh, what? When he came back, you know, uh, when he came to deliver the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, and he gave us those laws. Those laws has commandments. That's when he chose us to be his people. You know, when he took down the nations and their idols, you know, had us going and, and conquering their lands. You see, that was the Lord having mercy upon us and choosing us to be his people right then and there. You got it. It says, Thus said Yahweh, that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee fear not O Jacob my servant and thou Jeshurun whom I have chosen mm -hmm. and thou Jeshurun for whom I have chosen you know that word Jeshurun is upright the upright one you see and we're the upright we're the we're the righteous down here upon the earth you know and the Lord is going to help us and save us out of these uh, dire situations that we are coming into in the time of Jacob's trouble. We're going to save, you know, the those who are seeking him, those who are turning back. You know, and he's going to set start, set up the elect, you know, set up the nation of Israel, starting with the elect in their rightful order, back at the top of the uh, uh, nations, you know. You got it. You get the next priest up. All right. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. And it says, For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. It says, Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right, there it is. That we're holy, whom the Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, he's called us to be a holy people, a separate people, a nation, you know, who is righteous, pure, you know. And what, what would make us holy? The fact that we were given the commandments of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. Get that, um, <clears throat> that second Ezra, the fifth chapter. All right. And there, and there it is again, above all people, you know, above, you know, not equal to, but above. This is uh, 2nd Exodus chapter 5, verse 27. It says, And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. Yep, because there's 18 nations down here upon the earth. So out of the 18 nations, the Lord got one nation of people. You see? Go ahead. And unto this people, 
whom thou lovest, thou gavest the law that is a that is approved of all. Yeah, and this one people whom you, thou lovest, you know, <laughs> whom you love, thou gave us a law that is approved of all. You know, let's let's prove who the law was given to. You know, you can get um <clears throat> really, you know, you can get uh Leviticus twenty six and forty six. All right. I'm a um. Yep, and then let's get Deuteronomy. Actually, can you get um Deuteronomy the fourth chapter? Start the first verse and then jump down to verse uh verse four and read down the read down the seven. Or read down the eight. Deuteronomy. Yeah, Deuteronomy four. All right. And you said start with again? Start at verse 1, and then we'll jump. All right. It's Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments, which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live, and, to, I mean, and, go, in the, I mean, go in and possess the land which Yahweh power, of your father's given you, given you. That's right. So here, O Israel. So Israel was given the, the the statutes and the judgments. We were taught the statutes and judgments by Yahweh by Shema Shai, right? Is that simple? That was the law that was proved the law. We're going to prove it right here. Jump down to verse 4. It says, <clears throat> Deuteronomy 4 and 4. But ye that did cleave unto Yahweh your power are alive. Every one of you this day. Mm hmm. All right. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, mm -hmm. that ye should that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Go ahead. It says, <clears throat> keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. That's what they said, you know, a law that is approved of all. Surely this great nation... <laughs> The nation of Israel who was given the commandments, the nation whom the Heavenly Father chose, you see, <laughs> is a wise and understanding people. Why? Because we ran our society, you know, all the our civilization, right? Based off, you know, based off what? The commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And when we get that power, we're gonna the whole earth is gonna be ran in that order. Read down all the way down to verse eight, and uh, we'll close out. Uh, says uh verse seven. It says, for well, what nation is so great who have who have the most high so nigh unto them is Yahweh our power is in all things that we call upon for him. That's right. The Lord is nigh unto us. You know, wherever we you know, when we in order with our power, wherever we call on the Lord for, he's gonna be there to take care of us and answer those prayers. You know, but when we have that disconnect which is our sin you know the most high separates us because he's a god that hates iniquity and that's why you know we here at great millstone you know push you know yahweh shai so much because what yahweh shai was that sacrifice for our sins and that's how he's our mediator you know he's our way back to the heavenly father you know verse eight again i mean you start verse eight verse eight and what nation is so like in what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all of this law which I set before you this day? That's right. So there it is. You know, it's simple. You know, Israel is the chosen nation. The, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's who the biblical Hebrew Israelites are. And that's who the Lord chose to be the rulers of the planet Earth. That's why he gave us the laws. You know, that's why he taught us how to uh to till the land you know and to govern the uh the animals you see that's why he gave us these things you know 
That's why he gave us the laws, how to circumcise our kids, you know? These things all have a purpose, you know, how to raise our kids. These things, these things are for a purpose, you know? So, what well, we could be that top nation down here upon the earth. And Lord's willing, you know, we part of that first go around to, to make on to the sheriffs and, and, and to enter into the kingdom. You know, this order is going to be established throughout all the earth, you know? But Lord's willing, uh, you're edified, you know, it's the nation of Israel, you know, the chosen nation, the other nations, uh, you know, allowed to receive salvation. Lord's willing, me and this brother are going to that next, uh, you know, going to salvations for Israel, you know, plays in, you know, the, you know we're, we're the chosen nation. So the, the only begotten son, the heavenly father will come back to save his chosen nation. You know, that's very simple to understand. But Lord's willing, uh, you're edified with that. We're going to say uh, Shalom. Shalom.